back. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline, which millions of people turn to for support, is struggling to keep up with demand. That is particularly of concern this time of the year as the holidays can also spar mental and emotional crisis. The hotline is expected to receive six and a half million calls by the end of the year, but is still not functioning at full capacity. Experts say the problem comes down to the absence of mental health resources, a lack of awareness, and not enough stable funding. It's a disturbing truth. Suicide is the leading cause of death for Utahns ages 10 to 24. This past Saturday marked Survivors of Suicide Loss Day. Medical specialist Emma Benson sat down with a Huntsville mother who has turned her grief into hope for others. Anna was strong, independent, feisty as heck, played the piano, sang. I have died every day waiting for you. She was a student body officer. Laura Warburton remembers her daughter, Hannah, as a warrior. She was a skilled martial artist, loved fighting the boys. I know, she'd walk out and she's this beautiful girl and the boys would be really intimidated and she'd just, boom, take them out. It was awesome. Hannah experienced multiple concussions, which triggered intense anxiety and depression. She just couldn't function. She couldn't think properly. It was painful to watch. She couldn't remember things. She repeated herself quite often. And she was aware enough to know that she wasn't herself. Laura provided Hannah with all the medical resources she could but she didn't know the extent of her daughter's suffering. I did the best I could with the knowledge I had. There's no way I would have let my daughter die. In 2014, Hannah took her own life at the age of 16. In her letter, she was very clear. She felt like everybody would be better off without her, that no one would miss her. Obviously, she was wrong. Laura is now helping break the stigma around suicide and mental health. She started the nonprofit Live Hannah's Hope. With Hannah, I didn't have any resources. I didn't know where to go. To provide help for others who may be or know someone who is struggling. They even offer a resilience award for Utah high school students who share their stories of overcoming challenges. Kids don't want to hear from me. They don't want to hear from other adults. They want, they listen to each other. It's called a Regen Pod. And it doesn't um, end there. We have Laura oxygen. opened the Wellness Center to help treat people who suffer from post-concussive syndrome like Hannah did. They offer red light therapy, the which red, has been proven red, to boost mood and immune health. Way. This didn't even exist for Hannah. So I am not happy that my daughter is gone. But I feel like I have a heavenly angel and we learn from it. I just can't do what ifs. But I can do because of, and that's what I do. Because of Hannah. This is all because of Hannah. Emma Benson, KSL 5 News. Emma, thank you for that thoughtful story. To learn more about Hannah's story and for more information on the Resilience Award and the Wellness Center, you can visit livehannashope.org. And of course, if you know or some, if you or someone you know is in crisis, there is always help available. Call or text 988 to reach the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline.